I got everything out of the wrapping. I got this laid out here. There are some instructions here that come with the unit garage pannier racks and the top rack. So we're gonna start getting this installed. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I also got this cover for the uh, exhaust side of the pannier rack since I'm gonna be running soft panniers. This will help cover that. Be excited about this, cause he is. Help deflect the heat off that exhaust side of the pannier rack. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting these installed and I'll take you on that journey now. Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we are installing a unit garage luggage rack and side pannier racks for a 2022 Scrambler XC. So we're gonna start off first. We got the seat off of here. We're gonna start off by removing the electronic, uh, you know, cell phone holder tray. We're gonna have to get to this uh, original grab handle. This is gonna be coming off. A few other things are gonna be coming off. We, we have to drop the fender to get to this. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. First things first, we're taking uh, the screw out. The, there's three of these uh, Allen head screws. And that's going to require a five millimeter Allen key. So we're going to go ahead and get this off first and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove these Torx bolts. Now that's going to also, we need to lower that fender down to get this rack off. And what we're going to need for that is a T30 Torx bit. And obviously you're going to need your uh, ratchet and an extension for that. So let's get started. Now that we have those off, we're gonna wanna go after these. And these, uh, these are Allen bolts. So we wanna get after these right here and these on this side. Right here. And for that, you will need a six millimeter Allen key. As we move forward th with this, you have a nut on the back side of this Allen bolt right here. And that is a 13 millimeter wrench you're gonna to need to use for that. And you're gonna do it on both sides here. You can see it right here. So you're gonna to wanna to back that or actually get it started right there on the back side before you start spinning that Allen. Right, so now the fender's relatively loose, but we gotta take these other two bolts out under here. There's one on each side and they're eight millimeter bolts. So we're gonna take an eight millimeter wrench and do that now. You can use a socket with that, whatever you find easier. I just grabbed a wrench, but uh, use what you want. I ended up getting a quarter inch drive ratchet because this was a pain in the butt. These, these bolts here, they have red thread locker on them. So be aware of that. They didn't want those bolts to come out and they are kind of a pain to get out. So just a heads up on that. Now that we've got that dropped, this should just come right off. And there you have it. That's, that's the factory rack or grab handle for the Triumph Scrambler XC and XE. So we're putting that in the previously used Triumph box. Now we're gonna move on to the unit garage top rack. So we're going to get that going right now. All right. So this is the unit garage top rack. And first thing I notice is this thing sticks out a mile, man. I mean, it, it definitely moves out there a ways. And it's got the, the grab handles too, or the handles that you could tie things down to, which makes it very nice. Um, <clears throat> I am actually installing pannier racks too. So this will be a two part video. So you won't see this fully assembled as of yet but I'm gonna basically show you how it's done and then we'll move on to the pannier racks and then at the end, I'll show you the finished product. So let's get to putting this back together now. Basically at this point, you're gonna go ahead and reuse these screws to put this all back together. So the fender's gonna go back up into place and then, then you're gonna go ahead and, and uh, reinstall the screws that were previously the Allen head bolts here and then the screws that go here and the Allen screws that go here. So that would, that would be the completion of installing this rack. Now I'm going to show you the end result, but it will have the pannier racks on it. So, uh, I'm leaving this as is for now because I do want to put the pannier racks on and do this all at once. So now we're going to move on to the pannier racks. You'll see the finished product in both of my videos. All right. Now that we got everything tightened down, snugged up, only thing else, 
needs to go on are the foot pegs, but I just wanted to show you guys how this looks. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. And don't forget, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching, folks.